Okay, Tinkerers, you've got a nice heart and a nice stand. You could be very happy there, but at the end of the day, looking at my drawing, I've got some chambers inside the heart. Could I do this in Tinkercad? Well, I could. If I was really skilled. First off, I'm going to move the stand out of the way. And today, we're not going to deal with that. And I'm going to lay my heart back down. So I'm going to, I'm going to grab it from the top, hold shift, and just bring it back down so it's nice and flat, and lay it back onto the surface. So zero. There we go. So I can do some dissecting of a heart. Do love a good dissection. To dissect, what I need to do is go back to basic shapes, and I need to get a box and a whole box. I can either grab a normal box and turn it into a hole, or I can grab a hole straight away. And then I'm going to hopefully cut off the front of my heart. So what I'm going to actually do is look at how to get it rid of all the way up to just about here. Yeah. And then I'm also going to make a box to hopefully take off the front of my heart. So all I'm looking at is the main body. Yeah, I've got some pipe sticking out. That's absolutely fine. I could take it all away so it just cuts off just the front. Just like that. Yeah, if I zoom in carefully, I can make it perfect there we go that makes my life a lot easier yeah so i've just got my front of my main body of my heart sticking up now then first off i need to make two hearts so just click on my heart duplicate it and then i also need to make two boxes click on my box duplicate it so there's two boxes here and there's two hearts there now my box is and i'm currently 50 high yeah so if I get my other box and move this one 50 high, it puts two boxes together. Now a problem there at the moment, I've got two hearts in there and I can't click on them because I automatically click on the box. But what I can do in Tinkercad, a little tip is you can zoom in and as soon as you're inside the box, you can select a heart. So I want to select one of these hearts. There you go. Clicked on it and then I can zoom out and I've selected a heart. Hold shift and then I can select one of these boxes. There we go, and I can group. And that's what it's going to do is cut off the top section of that heart. And I can do the same for this heart. I can go in. What's left is the top half, so I can select that heart, go back out, select the box, click on that, and group. There you go. And what I've done is I've dissected the heart. You see there's a little line? That won't really show up, but if I click on this heart, I can move it off. Oh, I'm dissecting a heart. There you go. So let's take my dissection, move it across, put it down nice and flat, and that will allow me zero. Zero is on the plane. That'll allow me to print that bit off sec separately. Now then, I'm looking inside my heart. My heart doesn't look like it's got any chambers inside it. What it actually looks like is it's got a nice hard flat space. So let's put some chambers in. How could I put some chambers in? Well, a nice easy way is you go down, you've got shape library, features again, and I've got this shape called extrusion. The great thing about this shape, if I drag it on and pull it on, so it allows me, if I'm looking from the top, to change the shape freehand. I can change the wobbly, I can change it thickness, I can change the wide, I can change the angles. Yeah. So it's all about playing around with the shape. So what I want is four of these don't I because I'm going to have four chambers yeah so I'm going to bring this one up I'm going to have it so it goes into my heart a bit these are all bits I'm going to cut off I'm going to put one here I'm going to duplicate that one I'm going to put one here duplicate it again I'm going to put one down here it might stick out the side at the moment but that's okay because i'm going to play around with it and i'm going to put one more in this corner yeah so here are going to be my four major changes now i could use more extrusions and just do small extrusions and bigger extrusions extruded extrusions and join them together to kind of play around with how it's going so now what i'm going to have a play around with it's going to play around with each one and try to make it this sort of shape like I say, I could join up multiple ones if I wanted to really work on my shape, but I'm going for a general simulation of it. So I'm going to have a play. Let's double quick time it.
Right, tinkerers, I'm kind of happy with that. So if I select them all, once you're happy with it, you could dig it in as deep as you want. Obviously, you don't want to come out the other side. Yeah. So I've got four chambers going on there. I could just put it in a little bit. So it's just like a temporary fold. I could put this one back on top. When it's printed, it's got a hole in each side. But I'm going to stick with this today. Like I say, you can play around with it however you want. You can turn them into holes. And just like always, hold shift, select the object you're going to take the holes out of, group it all together, and there you go. Hey presto, some chambers inside my heart. How fantastic is that? The good thing about this as well is once you've got a nice flat edge like this, you can flip your heart over for printing because then you can put your flat edge down. I know you'll have to have some supports for all these pipe works going on but it also gives a nice solid base to print on so it's a really good technique anyway that's the basic parts i'm going to go through with you and how to build a human heart you could think about all the skills we've learned in the past get your text out put your text in you can actually write the text in the correct places on the heart and start putting some labels on you could look at labeling the different parts of the human heart as they all have very distinctive names. Anyway, and you could indent that in Tinkercad with the text. Like I say, the world is your oyster with 3D printing. Go ahead and challenge yourself, and I look forward to seeing some of your results.